Hello friends, my name is uh, Vijay Kumar and uh, today I will discuss about how we can set up an IS server on RHL 6.x so I have uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6.3 64-bit edition and I have created two system two virtual machine LDAV1 and LDAV2 so I will use LDAV1 as a uh, NIS master server and LDAP2 as an IS client server so that a user can authenticate from an LDAP2 uh, to LDAP1 which is my master server so let's uh, install some packages which is required yum install rpc bind yp serve and yp bind rpc bind is used for a port mapper and yp serve is the main package okay so yum install sometimes actually uh, the rpc bind get installed automatically whenever you will choose a desktop configuration or genome desktop configuration and the uh, yp bind uh, will also get installed automatically so let's define our nis domain in sysconfig network file so vim etc sysconfig network i will insert a new line here nis domain is equal to my domain dot com it is in my case you in your case you can have anything as per your requirement okay save it now okay so now we will uh, go to uh, check whether rpc port mapper is registered with nis yp serve or not so rpc info minus u localhost yp serve program is not registered it is saying why because yp serve has just been installed and it is not yet started so let's first make yp initialize my ni server into initialize as a master so usr lib64 yp yp init minus m i don't have any other host to add control d and y except you can see here ldf1.mydomain.com has been set up as an is master server and uh, now i will check whether my port mapper service which is rpc bind it is uh, running or not so rpc status it is running that's good so yp service start okay yp server my nis server is running now i made it run rpc bind restart and let's again restart my yp server restart okay now you can see it is ready and running now okay because yp serv uh, service is running that's why it is okay and it is uh, registered with rpc port mapper so i have configured successfully my nis server now i will create a user a normal unix user in my un unix user database which is etc passwd so user add normal uh, unix user command it is nothing else passwd vj and new password retype password authentication token successfully so my unix user has been created now and i will now add this user to nis database the command is var yp so oh sorry i must go to first var yp directory and then i'll run make make yes so the passwd and group is updated as per etc passwd and etc groups so user has been created now i'll go to ldap2 which is my um, client and i will verify first to open terminal and verify some service packages which are installed or not so the first is oh so the use rpm rpm minus qa grip minus i yp bind yes it is there uh, what about rpc bind let's check yes it is there so both the packages are okay now i will uh, check rpc bind service whether it is running or not on my client machine rpc bind 
status running it's okay so our pc bind is running now let's make it restart and i can now define my nis domain what is it so vmetc is config network this practice we have already done in uh, for nis master server nis domain is equal to my domain dot com okay so this is ready save it come back come out now i will use auth config minus tui use nis tick go to next domain it is picking from my network file sys config network and now i will give my uh, nis server's address which is ldap1 dot my domain dot com okay good that's run so my uh, you can see here my uh, nis server master server and uh, client has bind and everything is okay so now i can use get and pass wd to see whether vj is showing here yes you can see here vj this is a user from my nis database nis server you can see grep vj etc pass wd c pass wd that uh, vj is not anymore in my local database so that it is fetching out from master database now you uh, to demonstrate more i can aid another user nis test and give it password but i have to update nis database for this user newly created user so make updated now i'll go to my ldap my domain and grep get and yes you can see here vijay which was already there and nis test it is all, uh, fetching from nis database so the both server and client has been configured and now i will uh, configure let's configure nis server as a nis client also so that i can uh, authenticate i can ssh to server from ldap2 by doing this i have to configure as config to ui nis and will give itself address which is ldap1.mydomain.com okay Mm. It is taking some time. I cannot understand why it is. It may be some services. Okay, close it. So, go to ldap two and. Let's use to switch user NIS user. Yes, it is working. PWD root because home directory has not yet created. For creating home directory, we have to give another command auth config dash dash enable mk home dir dash dash update. So this will update uh, auth config to enable mk home dir. So whenever a user will log in. Uh, their respect to home directory will automatically get created. We're starting RPC bind uh, down. Oh, binding NIS service means client is taking some time to bind. Let's restart the RPC bind and uh, YPSRV service. Etc. Init dot d YPS have restart. Etc. Init dot d RPC Point. Restart. It's okay. Let's restart IP server again. Go to ldap2. Yes, it's okay. You can see here it started starting old job D. Old job D is the daemon to make home directory. So VJ creating home directory for VJ. So home directory for user has been created. Let's PWD. But first, I think. 
ypcat ypcat is a command passwd which will show all the passwd users for it will fetch only nis database users okay pwd it's root oh because i cd home which I, you can see here home directory has been created so this was my uh, configuration it is very easy to configure an is server and client thank you very much